and welcome to Unicorn Science. We are coming to you live, not live, <laughs> but we're coming to you from the Scott County Public Library in Georgetown, Kentucky. I am Miss Kelly, and this is Miss Mary Lou. Hi. And uh, for, for Tween Science this month, I thought, well, we're, we keep doing fantasy creatures, so we're doing Unicorn Science. So, uh, unicorns, not, not real. So we're not doing what? We're not doing what? zoology. No! I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry to break your heart. You're breaking my heart. I know. I'm sorry. But we're gonna do things that are kind of unicorn themed and, and rainbow and rainbow. Because yeah. when I think of unicorns, I think of rainbows. They just go together. Uh, so let's see. The first one I'm not because we've done a whole video on it. But I will refresh your memory. Uh, borax crystals. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. I have my, my samples from the times I've made them before. Some of them turned out better than others. Some of the crystals are huge. Some of them are small, but everywhere. This one is probably my favorite because it just turned out amazing. The nice thing about the borax crystals is they get really hard. They do. Really hard. I made these ages ago. I had to throw out the uh, the bluing crystals because they just kind of go... They crumble. Whoosh. Yeah. They <laughs> In your face. And yeah. uh, you don't want to inhale that. It's disgusting. Uh, but for borax crystals, you want your, your big old box of borax. You want to heat water. I would suggest using a water kettle. That's just a really easy way to do it. And then you want to make sure you super saturate your water with borax. You are going to mix as much borax as you possibly can until it will mix no more. Right. You don't want it like standing in the water, but you want it so that, that with the last spoonful you put in, doesn't dissolve because the yes. water is just so There's full so of borax, borax it can't take anymore the you know kind of like well you know I'm just going to just mention the science okay okay is yeah okay? go for it so you know this um, is not really just about unicorn science and rainbows it's that we're doing a lot of this work with density today yes uh, density uh, I did um, um, care if you want to do that screen there yeah that I mean the the, the picture there Den volume is how much liquid there is. So, like, if you have this this bottle, see if I can, this bottle, <laughs> you fill it up, and you say, "Oh, this bottle holds." It looks like probably about twelve or sixteen ounces. That's the volume. The density is how tightly packed this stuff is, and that has to do with the molecules in the substance, how tightly they're packed in. So, with when you get a super saturated solution, the water has got so much. Stuff, so much other molecules in between the water molecules, it just can't hold anymore. Um, so that's what a super saturated solution is. Yes. We're going to be talking about some other density stuff in a minute. But I just wanted to get yeah. that little scientific no, concept in No, no, go for there. it. Get the science. This yes. is unicorn science. Yes. yes. Sorry, I used to teach science. No, no, it's Miss Mary Lou is much better at the science behind things. I can show you how to do things. I'm not good at explaining them, though. So this is a great team up. Yes. <laughs> um, but to make this a little more unicorn, so when you've got your solution, you are going to dip something in there. Depending, I usually, all of these are made of pipe cleaners because the, the, the fuzzy bits of the pipe cleaners, the crystals stick to really, mm -hmm. really well because mm -hmm. they're, they're porous. They're, they're, they're furry. Well, yeah, furry. Yeah. Uh, so I made myself a little pipe cleaner oh, rainbow nice. with little clouds on the end that are just kind of like crumpled up little white pipe cleaners. And so, if you stick one of these in your solution, you let it sit uh, a couple hours, crystals will start to form. You can leave it for way longer. And I'm pretty sure I left this one for like three days, and that's yeah. why there are so many crystals at on it. At least overnight. You yeah, at least that. overnight. Um, but yeah, so then you would have a cool crystal. And if you don't put any coloring in your solution, yes. it's just going to be shiny, shimmery. Yes. I think you probably, col did you color those others or were they just the colored pipe cleaners? Uh, the blue one, I know I definitely colored the the solution with blue okay. even, so it's like extra blue. But I think, uh, based on the way this one looks, this one it was just the borax solution, no color added. Yeah. So you can still see the color of the pipe cleaner popping through. So if you made the if you made a rainbow, you'd still see the rainbow yeah, colors popping yeah. through, but nice. it would be crystals. Yay. Yeah. I like it. No. Oh, you want me to do density, do density rainbows? Now? Yes. Okay. So that um, that paper that I showed uh, that we looked at just a minute ago kind of gives you the recipe for making a density rainbow. And what we're going to do, and this is just this is just fun. It we're going to layer 
liquids of differing density to make our rainbow because they're yeah. not going to mix very well. I'm gonna Hopefully not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We're, I'm going to color my liquids. I am going to start with corn syrup. Now there is one liquid that's even more dense than corn syrup if you if you want. It's kind of expensive, so that's why I'm not doing it. But you can actually put honey on the on the bottom layer, oh. and it, it'll it'll form another layer. But honey, if you've bought it, not bought it lately, it's really expensive. <laughs> It's really expensive. So I'm going to put some food color in this, and I'm going to make my corn syrup. Oh, oh no. I thought I brought a, a, a towel. You. you got me a towel? Thank you. So I'm going to color it bright green. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Do, 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 do. That is really green. That is exceedingly I, green. I probably just should not have made it quite so much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not quite so much food color in yours. But I'm going to take it and I'm just going to pour it. And it's going to go goop. Right in my jar here. I stole this jar from our boss, Miss Roseanne. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind because I didn't tell her what I was doing. <laughs> I think actually these belong to Zen Jen. Uh, she brought these in for sensory bottles, but oh, yes. I stole one. I'm no good. All right. You might want to try to do a little bit neater than what I did so it's not all dripping down the sides, but th that's not going to hurt too much. My next color I'm going to use, I'm going to use Dawn dishwashing liquid, and it is blue. It's really blue. And I'm going to pour it real, real gently. And you can see it's sort of forming a nice mm. blue layer. Real gently. I like how you uh, managed to make it like right up to this little notch. Isn't and that brilliant? It was so can good. You, can you be amazed at how good I am at I this? am. <laughs> was it on purpose? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna color. Do my next layer is gonna be water. And I'm going to make it not as red as the last one. <laughs> that did green, but there we go. Oh, my fingers are very colorful here mm. today. Okay. So there's some red. I'm going to try to be really, really gentle with this. I'm going to so. kind of do it over my fingers so that it doesn't all... Sometimes if you like pour it over a spoon or something. Mm -hmm, to to kind of break spread the out ball. a little bit. What is this going? Is it looking layered? I can't tell from this angle. Yes, the first couple drops definitely mixed in, but it is it is layered now. Okay. It's kind of the uh, the tablecloth is kind of throwing it off, I think, or at uh, least I'll put the it, colors. I'll put cause. the white. I'll put it on the white surface in just a minute. But it. Oh it, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Layered. Okay. Oh yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is vegetable oil, just a light colored vegetable oil, and I'm going to um, color this orange. I've got some gel. gel dye, yeah. Know? Trying to make this thing look rainbowy, but it may. You know what? Is the gel gonna mess it the up? The gel's not gonna. The, you know, the gel is not gonna. I forgot. I'm not supposed to put color in this one because it's oil. It's not going to take the liquid. So oh. the liquid's all. I mean, the color's all sitting in the bottom. <laughs> so you just don't pour that don't, out. Don't don't put color in your oil. You can tell we Oops. really we re worked hard to rehearse this. Oh yeah. We rehearsed this Rehearsals. for hours. That's the thing I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this now this is going to mix with the water temporarily but then it's going to separate out because oil and water don't, don't mix. mix unless you make an emulsion but that's another that's science class something different. all right and the very last one Oobly. yeah this one was the one that was supposed to be orange is water you mean alcohol <laughs> I was like, I thought we did water already. This is alcohol. This is the thinnest, the least dense of the liquids. And this gel stuff is not mixing quite as well. No, it, it's really old. And the gel, the gel can be hard to work with. Yeah, I want it to be dark, you know, noticeably darker than the oil. Ew. 
it is a little bit darker than the oil. What do you think? Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Oh yeah, that's definitely starting to separate there. Mmm, rubbing alcohol. Mm-hmm. And this just is kind of like you get at the drugstore for like... 98 cents. What we, which you can get now for a long time you couldn't because they yeah. were making hand sanitizer out of it. But I'm, you know, this is going to sit for, it's looking a little bit mixed up. But the nice thing is, is it sits for a bit. It's going to separate out a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Just don't make, uh, you know, the, the mistake I made was making this bottom layer too blue. Oh, look, but that looks kind of nice if you put it on the white. Oh, yeah. Let me get these cups out of the way. It's just that the bottom layer was green, and so the tablecloth was just like yeah. green. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's a density rainbow. And those are my la my layers that are that my, my liquids that are layered based on their density. Yes. The end. I love it. Thank you. Rainbows. All right. So I've got one more thing for you, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch gears and go to electronics. Are you gonna get this this unicorn to start moving? No. 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 He wouldn't behave. Um, but I am gonna make his uh, horn light up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So, you know, there's that. So we're, today we're going to be using these uh, squishy circuits. This is a really old package because we've had these for a really long time. They don't come like this anymore. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be using Play-Doh because Play-Doh is what? Conductive. Yes. So I am going... What does conductive mean? Conductive means that electricity can pass through it. Does it help the electricity move? Yes. So, I don't know much about electricity. I am going to put, I'm going to pretend this is a very squishy mane. <laughs> so I'm going to add to the mane. I want to make sure that my Play-Doh pieces are separated because if they are touching, our circuit will not work. So I'm going to make another little blob. Flip the hair over, maybe. Come on. Do you need some help? Stay. I need her hair to stay. Stay here. I can't. I keep calling it him, her. I don't know. I don't know what gender they. this unicorn is. They. they. We'll just go with they. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, on each side. Voila. I'm going to pull my battery pack out, and it's got my two cords here. So my red cord is my positive cord. My black cord is my negative. I'm going to stick a positive cord in the back here into the Play-Doh. Get it squish squish. And then we're going to stick the negative cord over here. All right, that'll be good for now. Our Play-Doh is not touching. We are in right up there in the horn. So that's really important that the two, that the, the Play-Doh not... Yes. Okay. If you're concerned about them touching, you can also use um, modeling clay because that is not conductive. And so you can kind of use it as a barrier. I've mm. just made sure that my Play-Doh is not touching. Now, do they have some, is there stuff that you can buy easily to replicate this at home? Yes. Okay. You should be able to. Okay. Yeah. Like at Walmart? Mm, Walmart, I'm not sure. Okay. Where would they but go? I, I would probably go to Amazon online. I know. Mary Lou is horrified with me. I'm sorry. It's Prime Day. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm filming this, not, not as this airs. <laughs> What color should the horn be? I've got red, green, white, yellow, or blue. Mmm. Well, there's not a bit of green on this thing. Let's make this horn green. Okay. Be so nice contrast. that should be these. All right. So I've got my LEDs. These are super cheap. You'd probably have to go to a, a special store maybe unless you buy like some sort of STEM kit. Yeah. Which you can get. The, I miss Radio Shack. You could used to get all this stuff at Radio Shack. <laughs> that hasn't been there for 15 oh, years. No. Maybe kids don't even know what a Radio Shack is. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally younger than Radio Shack. Okay, so I've got my LED, and I'm going to stick one end of the, this wire in the positive and one in the negative. But it matters which, because you'll notice that one is slightly longer. Then the other. I'll do this to try and make the camera uh, uh, focus. That's the word. Focus. All right. Now, which one is which, you might say? I had to check my cheat sheet here. The longer one is the positive cord. So I need to make sure that my longer wire here goes in the red side, which 
is going to be this side. So I'm going to stick my, I'm going to kind of bend them and uh, stick stick them in there. All right, let's turn this let's turn this thing on. Oh well, that is a very light light. It it's on. It's just super. Oh, I can see it faint. now. Maybe green wasn't a good idea with the, because of the tablecloth. Maybe. It's super faint, but it is on because we have completed our circuit. Our power is going through. I can see it green. Yeah. Can you all see it green? Mm -hmm. eh. Okay. Let's try a different color. Okay. Let's see. Let's go with the blue one. Okay. I think those are usually pretty. All right. And again, long wire positive going in the red side. Ooh, my hand back it's a little bit brighter. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes like it takes a minute to get lit for it up. to yeah. yeah yeah. And I'm just you know I'm gonna just I'm gonna put a bunch of wires in here. Oh my gosh. I know. Come on, get in. Little there. unicorn, you're gonna be ready to party. Yeah. Yeah. If my wires would work. Come on. Oh 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 oh. So faint. I don't see much color, but I see light. No, 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 they're not on. Oh, there was the blue one. I think. I, I had gone straight through my Play-Doh and was just touching the unicorn. Oh. And that was, it was not happy about that. There's a tiny bit of color. It really is working, though, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not, uh, not nearly as exciting as it ought to be. Well, that was a green I've never one, had good luck with electric electricity experiments. I remember trying to get a lemon circuit and a potato circuit, and I've never been able to get those to work. Let me see these. <clears throat> these wires are uh, maybe it doesn't rusty. produce enough juice for that many lights. Oh, that Ooh, one's the red that, one's there's going. some light. Let's yeah, get that off of there. All right, look at that. Ooh. That's good. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think that song's appropriate, Mary Lou. <laughs> Go and get copyright hit too. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Our unicorn is is and it faded. No, oh, no, no, no. It's still there. It's still there. We're good. The unicorn is is glowing. So we've completed our circuit. Yay, Kelly! Huzzah! I like squishy circuits. They're really fun and they're easy to use. They're great. They also have a motor. I was attempting to make the unicorn a scribble bot which is like a slightly intenser version of a bristle bot if you've made those. Uh, but the unicorn is too, way too heavy and so uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so if you had a lighter unicorn, you might be able to do it. I was gonna make it uh, poop rainbows by, by attaching markers to the, the tail and then have it like <laughs> run around on paper. But yeah, we, we so need, that's something you could try if you've got- need a bigger motor. I know, yeah, we do yeah. need a bigger motor. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's oh, look, it's it's separating yeah, it's some separating. more. Very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. that uh, density yeah. rainbow is looking good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Is that it? I think yes. What's next on the agenda? Oh, uh, I don't even remember anymore. You're just gonna have to go book to bites. book yes. bites. We're well, doing book bites, book bites next week. I don't know which one. Fantasy. Oh Fantasy. yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm excited. So, uh, yeah, we will see you next time then. Have and a good week. Uh, if you can't remember, like we can't, uh, check out our Facebook or our website to find out what is coming up. <laughs> ScottPublib.org. But we will see you all next week. Have a good week, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.